Gamers bringing you another PBR battle here, and I, uh, this is a battle I recorded yesterday with the same pass, right after the other one where Pika swept the team. But anyway, I thought I'd just share this one with you too, since it was awesome. And, uh, the new pass is ready, so I'll debut that soon. I can't do it tomorrow, though, because I have to work all freaking day. I've got three birthday parties tomorrow. Anyhow, so, we're in the Lagoon Coliseum today. And, uh, by the way, guys, the, uh, annotations on the last video, I, I really like that it worked out well, so, expect in the, uh, future to have more videos open to annotations, because it's pretty funny, I like it, and I hope you like it too, so, anyway, I lead off with the two stars of this pass, I got my shiny Azumarill, so it's yellow, because it matches Pikachu, and I thought that was really cute and funny. So, Sceptile, I was worried here, I was like, oh no, it's gonna Leaf Blade, or it's gonna, it's gonna have some deadly attack of some description. So I just fought this guy previously, and I know that his Charizard has Earthquake, because he took out Pikachu with it last time. So, I knew that it was probably going to use Earthquake, because Sceptile obviously won't get hurt by it at all, and neither will Azumarill, but Pikachu will get one-shotted, because Pikachu's not very good at taking attacks. So I go for a fake out on the Charizard, and I just let the Sceptile do sceptile things, because I guess it's going to attack Azumarill, and it'll probably be able to take it. So anyway, Pika P goes for a nice uh, fake out there. It doesn't do a whole lot, but you know what's coming. Y you know what's coming. And he sets up a sunny day, lols, because I set up a rain dance and completely cancel out his sunny day. Ha ha. So that was funny. I was, um, I think I was laughing. So, anyhow, I've just completely wasted his life, so he's probably crying right now. Now, I thought about setting up another rain dance, because I thought that the Sceptile was going to do another sunny day, but I figured, you know, he probably won't just because, so I'd go for the attack. And with Pikachu, I'll do what Pikachu does best, and... What Pikachu does, what Pikachu does best is uh, spam thunder until everybody dies. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now this surprised me. My Pikachu just outsped a Sceptile, which is crazy. So anyway, I obviously kill the Charizard because it's super effective. And if I can kill an Arcanine, I can kill a Charizard. So anyway, he goes away. And there's a sunny day again. And uh, I was thinking, oh come on, crap. That, ain't, that is not good. So anyway, Ice Punch. Ice Punch, and it doesn't quite kill him, which kind of made me sad there for a sec, but uh, does the sun reduce the power of ice, or is that just water type moves? I think it's just water, so, anyhow, there's a Lucario, which isn't good, because neither Azumarill or Pikachu can really do a whole lot at this point, so I thought about going for a rain dance, and I thought about doing, you know, the whole Pika thing again, but... I decided that it was probably a good idea to switch, just because, you know, I, there's not really a whole lot they're going to accomplish. And guess what, guys? This is the first battle where Shaman, the Face Eater, Face Eater the Shaman, whichever way we, we want to say it, he gets some action in this battle, guys. So, this is the first time you're going to see Shaman in an actual battle. So, hooray! Hooray for Shaman and all its epic amount of cuteness is... is, is. Anyhow, we go again. we're gonna go ahead and switch out my Pikachu, who is very cute, and send in my Arcanine, who is very mean. Rawr! So I cut their attack, which doesn't really matter because that's a special Lucario anyway, as you will soon see. Either that or that guy's just an idiot. So anyway, we go ahead and also send out Shaman Face Eater! And uh, I knew the Solar Beam was coming, so I just decided to switch out to Shaman anyway. <laughs> Look at that, Shaman took the Solar Beam like a beast. So anyway, and Arcanine takes the Psychic like a beast. So, awesome. Now I can just Heat Wave them both to death with my Arcanine, and Face Eater's just going to sit there with, an, with its awesomeness and spin around a couple times. And, wait, wait, oh, oh, sorry. Here, I'm checking the uh, 
checking to see how fast Arcanine is compared to Pikachu, and I see it's a little bit faster. So if I can outspeed the Sceptile with a Pikachu, I can outspeed it with my Arcanine. And Shaman outspeeds everything because it's scarfed, so... Yeah, I don't know why it's scarfed, but it is scarfed, so whatever. Earth Power on Lucario, and a Heat Wave on both of them, just because I can. So here we go. Uh, Face Eater uses Earth Power, look at that! Uh, boom! It doesn't kill it, though. Probably wouldn't have killed it anyway, because it probably has a Focus Sash, but who cares. And here comes the heat wave from a life orb dark and iron in the sun. Nobody's gonna live that. Not, not if you're at that amount of health anyway. I mean, his next Pokemon that he sends out gets one KO'd by it, so that's awesome. So, both of them die to my awesome Arcanine's fire breathing, fiery death of doom, I guess. And he takes life orb damage, but whatever. That's why I have Morning Sun to negate that if it gets to be a problem. And in a sunny day, Morning Sun heals, like, what is it? Three-fourths of your HP rather than half, I think. So anyway, now there's a Guard of War, or a Guard of War, or... Who knows how you pronounce some of these names, I mean, really. So I thought about Earth Powering, but... You know, I really should take the scarf off of it, because it kind of limits me sometimes. So... I ended up not Earth Powering it and just switching out to someone else. I think I switched out to Azumarill. Yeah. Azumarill just because I can. Because I am pretty sure that Arcanine can take down this Guard of War, or Guard of War, or Guard of whatever you want to call it, in one hit with Heat Wave. Because of Stab, and because of Sun, because of Life Orb, and because Arcanine is the legendary dog of awesomeness. He's like. He's so much better than Entei. I mean, look at Arcanine. He's cool. So, anyway. Go ahead and Heat Wave. I breathe fiery death of doom once again. All over him or her. And Guard of War goes down. So, yay! I beat this person. I got my revenge for him killing my Pikachu. And, well, apparently this person was a bit stupid. Because, look at what happens. Can you guess what happens? Can you guess what happens? I don't know. What do all noobs do? Huh? Come on, go on, guess. Go on. You know you want to. And here it comes. Oh, what a noob. So anyway, he was probably embarrassed that he got owned 